Aisha, what are we going to study tonight? Oh, I think we should study about physics. Oh, by the way, I just saw an article about the uncontrolled plastic disposal in our country. Do you think is it bad if it keeps going up? Yes, of course it's bad. Uh, let me share screen and explain to you about that. Firstly, they lead to environmental pollution, which is evident in several ways, including environmental natural beauty deterioration. Secondly, the entanglement and death of aquatic organisms. Thirdly, sewage system blockage in towns and cities, especially in developing countries. Oh, I see. That's really bad. Hello, guys. Sorry, I'm late. Okay, we just finished talking about plastic disposal effect to environment. Uh, talking about that, I saw someone making a query. Why do? Is brick making effect the environment? Yes, unfortunately, brick making effect the environment. Uh, let me share the screen to explain to you guys. Firstly, when the water of the river is affected by waste of red brick materials, this waste polluted the water and affect the fishes and other organisms. Second, they damage the soil, crop production and food security, rice and wheat crops being particularly susceptible. Thirdly, transportary black carbon from thousands of kilns directly contributes to classical melting in the Himalayas and affects monsoonal rainfall patterns. Um, how the community can reduce the plastic disposal? There's a manufacturing of plastic brick making. My brother talks a lot about it. Let me share my screen to explain to you guys. Alright, so this is how the process of plastic brick making. So for the first step, they will start to collect the plastic waste and divide it by group. And second, they will start to shredding the plastic waste until it turns into small pieces. Next step, they will use X to the machine. The machine does the mixing of plastic waste with sand at very high temperature. So the plastic will act as the binder. And for the last step, they will start to compress the mixture until it becomes brick. But as a student, what can we do though? I told you guys, I saw the equipment posting. There are many that we can do. Let me share the screen. First, we begin with packing plastic bottles with non-biodegradable only, like cellophane, styrofoam, plastic bag, and packaging of all kinds. Secondly, no putting papers, no putting glasses, and no sharp metals. After that, we use a stick to pack the bottle with as much plastic as possible. Then start by packing the bottle with soft plastic to fill the corner, and finally, use only one brand of bottle for your equipment. This will make bedding much easier. Wow, it's easy, but what's the benefits? Well, there's actually a lot of benefits of Ecobrick. First of all, Ecobrick can prevent plastic waste from distorting the ecosystem. Ecobrick can see the plastic away, preventing the build of toxic gases such as methane. Other than that, Ecobrick are a low energy solution to plastic. Recycling is necessarily the best solution since the facilities demand technology, funds, and a substantial amount of human energy. But Ecobrick doesn't require all that fast with anyone having the ability to make their own Ecobrick. It is a simple solution to a complex problem which can be applied by everyone and anywhere. Wow, there's lots of benefits. We should try that. Right, but let's we get back to our studies. Oh, okay.